Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to show you a cool bench trick. Um, this is making a female joint. Um, so for this project, what you're gonna need is uh, some 16 millimeter tubing, or you can make tubing that's about 16 millimeters. And um, we're gonna make a 14 mil joint. So I'm gonna use uh, the Griffin glass joint tool. Uh, you guys can also use uh, graphite reamers, or there's other kinds of joint tools that you can use, but for today, I'm just gonna show you with a uh, Griffin glass tool. I love that tool, so you wanna light your torch. It's definitely good to have a Zippo around as opposed to another kind of uh, lighter, like a pressure-filled lighter. So first thing I'm gonna do is just open up my tube. You may start with your end open, but for this particular time, uh, because of the diameter of the tube, I want to use my diamond shears to get a really nice clean break. So I get it a little bit hot. I'm going to grab it and pull just a little bit to make it more narrow. And then go in with my diamond shears to create a crease. And then I'll just pop that right off. So now, once you have it <clears throat> broken off, you want to go in with your jacks or a reamer tool. Kind of flatten that out a little bit, make sure it's all nice and perfect. Heat it up and then open it up till it's in the same, it's till the, till the lip is the same diameter as the tubing originally. So I'm just going to square that off a little bit. Now you can take the joint tool, you can kind of see how that's going to fit in there. And it definitely needs to be opened up a little bit more. So what you want to do is heat up the whole thing a little bit. And you can take a reamer, either graphite or brass. Now some reamers uh, have a similar angle that you need um, for opening up joints. Not this particular one, but uh, so I'm just going to open it up close to what I, where I need it, and then um, I'll be able to do the rest with the joint tool. Just heat it up like that, stretch it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back into my lip, make sure that the lip is nice and square. Now I'm gonna go in with the joint tool. Just go in, turn a little bit, and you wanna be able to get that nice and close to the edge. Sometimes, uh, depending on how thick you want it, how long you want it, you can push it in a little bit further. So we'll do that here, just heat up the whole thing a little bit more. Go ahead and just push that in. You can see it's right down to the edge of the tool. It's a little bit bigger than the tool right now, so I'm gonna go in and um, condense the wall back down a little bit so it's right on the edge of uh, just being able to fit. So you want to heat it up, push that in. You can feel it right on the edge there. And if you want, you can even thicken up the lip a little bit. So you just heat that. You can push it back with a paddle or some jacks. Get it nice and thick, and it'll be a nice little addition, and it'll make it just a bit stronger too. So you can heat that up, going for the final stretch. So with making the lip like that, it got a little narrow, so I'm just gonna go back in with my reamer again, open that up, and now that it's opened enough for the joint tool to go in, I can push it and make the final size and shape. So this is a 14 millimeter joint. It's a little bit big, so I'm just gonna go in and narrow it down a little bit more. All right, so 
So then when you have it like that, you can uh, take your um, joint holding tool. This is a blast shield tool. You want to make sure you always get this hot first because uh, that this really takes the heat away from the glass. So I just put this in and noticed it was a little bit big. This was a little loose, so I'm going to heat it up a little bit and make it a little bit more narrow just by letting it heat up and stay there for a second. So that made it just narrow enough so that it fits right on there like that. And then I'm going to take this off so it's ready to apply to a piece. It's going to leave a little bit of glass there on the end and I'll be able to pull this off once I heat it up a little bit. Just pull it off. Now I'm going to heat up the bottom and blow that out so that that's ready to connect to a piece when I want. So I'll heat that up and I'll condense that back and even out that little bubble. And now once you have the bubble, these are usually um, put in on a side seal. So I'm going to pop a hole on the side here. So that's all ready. Ready to go whenever we need it for an, a piece that we're working on. You can open up a little bit with the reamer if you want. And then what you want to do is you want to tap this like this and that'll get the, the joint kind of loosened up and you can grab it with some diamond shears or something and take it right off. And that's a female joint. There's a lot of variations to that. Um, you can make them a lot of different shapes, but that's the basic concept of uh, how you can make your own colored and transparent and clear joints. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another bench trick.